Hello, everybody. Welcome back to House of Games. It is Tuesday. What a week we are having already. Somebody is going to win the trophy at the end of the week. Uh, you know that disappointing end of the week is always going to happen. Uh, who are our players this week? They are Joe Brand, Roger Black, Tiff Stevenson, and Sanjeev Kohli. Um, hello, everyone. Hello. So Hi. glad you came back. Joe, you threatened not to. <laughs> but, uh, lovely to have you here, if only contractually. <laughs> Matron wouldn't let me in at the home, so I was forced to. <laughs> this is the only place you can keep out of the cold. Um, Sanjeev Kohli, uh, we're in Glasgow, your yeah. hometown. Mm -hmm. uh, day one, absolutely blew the opposition apart. So what a win, a huge win. Yeah, I know, but I was talking to Roger about this. I mean, is it is it best to be... A, should I be in someone else's slipstream, or is it best to be ahead like this? I don't know. Psychologically, what does that do when you can't see someone ahead of you? Well, I was. Thinking... That, that sounded way more patronising than it meant to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? I was talking to Roger Black about it. I said, look, I mean, do you really want to be miles ahead? <laughs> 400 metres, of course, you do want to be ahead. There's no, there's no being on someone's shoulder in a 400 well, metres. You go, well, go from the gun, don't you? 400 metres, if you go too, too quickly, they say that the race is won and lost in the last 100 metres. Not he's for all, me, He's mate. already yeah. ahead, Richard. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. exactly. He's, and he's, yeah. he's got, you reckon he's gone too quick? Uh, I'd like to say he has, but I, <laughs> I, I feel I feel many years ago I, I competed against someone called Michael Johnson, and I feel I'm in the presence of a similar, a similar just quality physically. athlete. Just physically, you know, when yeah. it comes to yeah. answer smash. Exactly. <laughs> um, Tiff, let's take a little look at the weekly leaderboard oh, because no, we on. just need to discuss. You were fourth yesterday, which means you take one point through. Yeah. But showing good signs in answer smash and things like that. What can we do today to move up the leaderboard? I think. I think. The lads have peaked too early. Yeah, as, jo... as so often. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Joe and I are going to come through strong. Listen, what I've done, if I can be honest, is I've held back a little bit. Mm. So I didn't want to seem like I was too good at the game. Oh, well, I, can't, I mean... I can't even listen, sell that line. Mi I held Tiff, back. Mission accomplished. <laughs> I think Tiffany's going to have an epiphany. Just because oh, it rhymes. Right. Just because yeah. it rhymes. Epiphany. Mm. Joe. Sanju took home a uh, prize yesterday, and you, if you were to win today, will take home one of these. Which of these do you fancy? There's the pillow and duvet set, the cool bag, the dartboard, the salt and pepper shakers, and the cufflinks. Hmm. Dartboard, if I could repaint it with my husband's face. <laughs> Perfect. Roger? It's got to be the dartboard. Got to be the yeah, dartboard. I've come here for the dartboard. That's what you're here That's for, my right? mission. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Tiff? I think maybe the pillowcase just to make the other half jealous. Yes. Like, I'm going to bed with Richard Osman. Nicely, but you know, he probably, probably said, yeah, go on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or the cat might end up sleeping on it. Oh, so, that's better. That you know, I like. Yeah. That's a, that's a nice thought. I'd like Take to be... The, the pillow the for the company. cat. Beautiful. Sanjeev? I've latterly, during lockdown, gone to darts. So it's Interesting. The, the so dart you're going to go dartboard as well. So yeah. a lot of dartboards, but also a pillow and duvet set. Shall we play some more oh, House of Games? Uh, Sanjeev, our yeah. champion on Monday. Who's going to be our champion on Tuesday? Let's find out, shall we? Our first round is... Correction Centre. I will go along the line, I will read you each out a statement. That statement is incorrect. However, if you change one word, you will make the statement correct. Mm. OK? Joe, we will start with you. OK. Here is your incorrect statement. In the 1970s, viewers first saw David Soule and Paul Michael Glazer's adventures as the title characters in A Rabbit and Hutch. Starsky and Hutch. So we changed Rabbit so to Rabbit Starsky? Starsky, yeah. It's a nice low-impact start to the show, isn't oh, it? I love it. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Lovely. Changed yeah. Rabbit to Starsky. Well played, Joe. Uh, Roger, yeah. an incorrect statement for you. OK. In August 2019, it may have been a sign of nerves when Andy Murray began his first singles match after hip <laughs> surgery with a double somersault. Um, OK. Uh, I think we, we swapped somersault for fault. Surely. Yeah, somersault that, for fault. That was uh, a bit of a gift. Very well done. Nicely played. Tiff, one for okay, you. OK, can I check? Sanj isn't allowed to buzz in. He, if you I get it wrong, he in. can buzz in. But, uh, <laughs> oh, OK. Yeah, but at the moment, you are unencumbered. <laughs> <laughs> That's the good news. Uh, here is your statement. Christmas pudding is avoided by vegetarians for the obvious reason that it's full of blood. <laughs> OK. <laughs> it's avoided by veg... Is it avoided by vegetarians? Oh, black pudding. Of course. It's Christmas, it's black. Christmas with black pudding. <laughs> so, uh, it's Christmas to black. You're absolutely right. Black pudding avoided by vegetarians. Uh, Sanjeev, an incorrect statement for you. 
In a long and illustrious career, Teddy Sheringham was surely proudest of winning the Nobel Peace Prize and championing the Panama Canal. <laughs> um, it can only be Teddy Roosevelt, can't it? <laughs> yeah, so change Sheringham to Roosevelt? <laughs> Absolutely right. Well done. Change Sheringham to Roosevelt. Great Joe. player. Yeah. Great oh, player, great Teddy player. Roosevelt. That <laughs> pass he did to Shearer, <laughs> Roosevelt. I mean, you know, lives long in the memory. <laughs> Joe, an incorrect statement for you. Judy Garland plays a young woman grappling with <laughs> life and love in the classic musical Meet Me in St Albans. <laughs> I wish it had been that. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Change Albans for Louis. Change Albans to Louis or Lewis. Absolutely right. St. Louis, Louis, well played, Joe. Point to you. Roger Black. Oh, we've got five from five so far. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Roger. Prince William is a popular addition to British gardens. Apparently, bees are attracted to the sticky nectar. Um, do you change Prince to Sweet? Is that right? Do you change Prince to Sweet? It is sweet, William. Well played. Sweet. Nicely done. Tiff. Oh. Six from six now. Nervous. There we go. Thong Song, <laughs> featured in the John Lewis Christmas advert in 2010, and again some years later in a montage playing tribute to the life of its creator. OK. Oh. John Lewis, so I'm presuming it's Thong Song that needs to be changed. Although I like the idea of a thong at Christmas. It feels very festive. Lovely. Um, I was thinking of the snowman, but it's not that, is it? Um, I, I mean, everyone else knows it, right? I don't think anyone else knows it. Uh, driving. Um, I'm going to say Christmas song. No, it can't be Christmas song. Christmas is in the Christmas song. Christmas song? If it's wrong, we will have a buzzer race. Is it Christmas song? It is not. Roger. Is it your song? That's what I was wondering. Is it your song? Elton John. Oh, Elton John, John yeah. of course, yes. It is um, your song. Uh, Eddie Goulding covered it. Sanjeev, yeah. final question in this round. Al Gore has been broadcasting from a base in Doha <laughs> since 1996. Oh. Tiff knows it. Oh, is it Iowa? Is it Iowa? <laughs> Not, I'm afraid. Uh, Tiff. Al Jazeera. Yeah. Al Jazeera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gore for Jazeera. Al Jazeera has been broadcasting from a base in Doha. Yeah. It's 1996. <laughs> he's gone, look, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. gone. Oh, God. <laughs> I've let myself down. That is the end of our first round. Let's take a look at the scores, shall we? Everybody off the mark. Sanjeev, you have one. Tiff, Joe, two each. Roger Black, early leader with three points. Ooh. Out of the block. Nicely done. Um, round two today is... You spell terrible. A pairs game, the player in fourth place chooses their partner. Sanjeev, yesterday's champion, uh, today that is you. Who would you like to play this round with? I'm going to stick with Tiff. Stick with Tiff. You did well yesterday. Yeah, you absolutely so, yeah. did. It was a very good yeah. team. Yeah. So, Sanjeev and Tiff, you're a team. Joe and Roger, you're a team as well. What a team. Um, yeah. Now, in this round, I'm going to ask you some questions. Fingers on buzzers. Buzz in and give me a correct answer. If it's right, I will ask your partner to spell that answer. Ah. And you'll oh. only get a point if your partner spells it correctly. People buzz in so quickly on this round because they just don't want to spell. spell yeah. <laughs> um, good luck, everybody. Here's your first question. Fingers on buzzers. Which activity, popular in bars, involves singing along to backing tracks using on-screen lyrics? Yes, Tiff. Karaoke. Karaoke is the correct answer. Sanji for a point spell. Karaoke. K. A. E R. A O K E. <laughs> Never in doubt. Yeah. Well played, Sanji. Nicely done. Karaoke. Karaoke. Next question. What is the name of King Arthur's legendary sword? Yes, that is Sanjeev. Excalibur. <laughs> Excalibur is the right answer. Tiff for the point. Can you spell okay. Excalibur? Uh, e. X, C, A, L, I, B, U, R. Oh, well yeah. played. Well done. Well played. Everyone waiting for that U. <laughs> Nicely played. Tiff, point to you and Sanjeev. Uh, next question, fingers on buzzers. 
Which device, consisting of a tall frame with an angled blade, was used during the French Revolution to carry out executions? Sanjeev. Guillotine. Guillotine is correct. <laughs> Tiff. I mean, good luck. Guillotine. OK. Uh, G, U, I, L, L, O, T, I, N, E. Well done. Tiff wow. Stevenson. Good spelling. Well done. I like to say that very often. Good spelling. <laughs> Have I found something I'm good at yeah. in this game? Apparently. Uh, and another point. That's uh, three points out of three for Sanjeev and Tiff. Next question. What is the last name of existentialist philosopher Friedrich, who wrote Thus Spoke Zarathustra? Yes, Tiff. Nietzsche. Nietzsche is correct. I mean, listen, I mean, you've been impressive so far, you two. But uh, Sanjeev, uh, our thoughts and prayers are with you. So on Nietzsche. <laughs> N. I. E. T. S. Oh! oh. And what is it? Is it like Z? Z. S H E. I mean, Z. there's an awful lot of letters still to come, aren't there? Z. Yeah. Z. S. C. H. E. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, Tiff. That's all right. Yeah. It's rocking five consonants in a row there. <laughs> yes. in, in quite a short word. Um, next question. Which stage of a butterfly's life cycle is also known as the pupa? Yes, Tiff. Um, <laughs> is also known as the pupa. It's the... Sorry, you have to answer straight away on this one. Forgive me. Yes, Roger. Is it Chrys chrysalis? It is chrysalis, I'm afraid. Joe, for Sorry, that point. Sorry, Joe. You spell chrysalis. Uh, C H R Y S A L I S. Oh, well oh that is well done. Well done. <laughs> that is fantastic. Look at the admiration in his <laughs> eyes there. <laughs> That's like he's just passed the baton oh. to Chris Akabusa. <laughs> it's like an Akko, he's just going, run with it, run! <laughs> and Chris Akabusa's just laughing. <laughs> going, <"Shut up." laughs> Final question in this round. The title of which 1987 rom com starring Kim Cattrall also denotes a dummy used to display clothes in a shop window? <laughs> yes, Tiff. Mannequin. Mannequin is the correct answer. Sanjeev, to end the round in a blaze of glory, spell mannequin. Nothing's going to stop me now. <laughs> <laughs> M-A-N-N-E-Q-U-I-N. What a round, oh, everybody. I, honestly, I think that's the best I've ever seen you spell terrible played. Beautiful <laughs> spelling from everyone there. Very, very well done. Uh, let's take a look at what it's done to the scores, shall we? Lovely and close today. Two rounds down. Joe, you have three. Roger, four. Sanji, five. Tiff Stevenson, Ooh. our leader with six. Ah! Well Tiff. <laughs> Nicely done. Let's get straight on and play our third round. Today, that is going to be... This round is in code. Now, I'm going to give you a series of clues. Uh, they're all written in code. The code is simple. 1 equals A, 2 equals B, 3 equals C, all the way down to 26 equaling Z, OK? But what are these answers, please? Your first category is Alfred Hitchcock films. Which are these films written in code, please? Sanjeev. Psycho? Absolutely, yeah. Psycho. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> yes, Roger. The birds. The birds, all very nice. Well played, the birds. Anyway, <laughs> 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 I'm waiting for I'm the birds. I'm waiting for to the come three up. and five, and <laughs> it's the birds. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Yes, Sanjeev. Rebecca. Rebecca. Yeah, well played. Next category. 
languages. What languages are these, please? Yes, Roger. Greek. Greek. Nicely played. Next one. Roger. Russian. Is it Russian? It's good. It is wow, Russian, Roger. Russian. Well done. Funny when you discover a skill you didn't know you had. <laughs> Next one. Yes, Sanjeev. Urdu. Urdu. Oh, wow. Absolutely well played. Yeah. Next category. Children's television characters. Which children's television characters are these? Yes, Sanjeev. Andy Pandy. Andy Pandy. Uh -huh. Well played. <laughs> Next one. Roger. Is that Bagpuss? Bagpuss, of course. Well played. <laughs> final question, final children's television character. So I tell you, yeah, Pingu oh, ping is the answer. Uh. Well done. If you said that at home, that's the end of that round. Let's take a look at our leaderboard again, shall we? Good round for Sandeep there. Good round for Roger. Joe on three, Ooh. Tiff oh. on six, oh. Roger eight, Sandeep. He's oh. back in the lead with nine points. Well done, Sandeep. Oh. Two rounds to go on Tuesday's House of Games. This Sandy, you're going to make it two in a row. Let's find out, shall we? It's much, much closer today. Uh, round four is... The Rich List. Now, tablets out, please, everyone, including me. Now, in this round, I'm going to show you some categories. I just need you to write down a correct answer in that category, mm -hmm. OK? If you give me a correct answer, you'll score a point, unless somebody else has written down the same answer as you, OK? And that includes me, because I'm going to write down an answer as well. So, if you're correct and no one else has written down your answer, you score a point. Your first category is countries that border Russia that are not members of the European Union. Hmm. OK, everyone is in. What do you think at home? What have you got here? So, countries that border Russia, there's a lot of them. Uh, that are not members of the European Union. Joe, what are you thinking? I don't even know if this is right, but... Armenia. Armenia, surely that's right, isn't it? Is that right? Oh. Oh, no. Doesn't border <laughs> Russia. That's annoying. Uh, Roger. Mm. I put China. China, surely. That's correct. Very well done. So you get yourself a point unless somebody else has written China. Uh, Tiff, what are you going for? Uh, oh, no. That's a short-lived point. I was, <laughs> was going to go Kazakhstan, and then I was like, I can't spell it. So I was <laughs> going to do that as well. Absolutely. Uh, so, nobody's got a point so far. Sanjeev, your chance to clean up here. Well, I was going to say Kazakhstan, but then because Bora, I thought, no. Is so I've gone from another Central Asian, which I'm hoping borders Russia, Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Is that a correct answer? Oh. Not. Not the other side of... Uh, Kazakhstan. Oh, you're joking. So nobody got a point, so it literally doesn't matter what I wrote. Completely. Uh, Ukraine, <laughs> I wrote. OK. Oh. So, yeah. so well, that is right. Uh, oh, wow. Is Kazakhstan a, a anyway. correct answer? Kazakhstan uh, would have been a correct answer, yeah. Oh. Um, and also, you wouldn't have had to spell it correctly, would you? Mm. Yeah, if, if you just said Kazakhstan, you write down what And you would have given me a point as well. You've already oh. proved to me you can spell. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's take a look at the answers you could have said. So at home, well done if you said any of these and avoided any of the answers here. Azerbaijan, Belarus, Georgia, Kazakhstan, North Korea, Mongolia, Norway. Mm. And uh, China, Ukraine, we already had. So no points for anybody there. <laughs> Just apart from me. <laughs> I got one, that's nice. <laughs> Next question. Numbers from 1 to 100 that are represented in Roman numerals by two letters. Huh. What have you got at home on this one? You've written down an answer. Anything that has two figures in Roman numerals. 
OK, everyone is in. Roger, what are you thinking on that? Well, I've gone six, V and one. Ah, V-I. V-I. Okay. Is that correct? It is correct. Mm. Well done. Cliff, what are you saying? Uh, 15. Yeah. 15 XV. Good. And avoided what does answer Sanjeev. The flip, 51. 51. <laughs> this is all good so far, isn't it? Joe. No. Oh, oh, well, no. I'm beginning to doubt myself now. Nine. Yeah. Nine. Well, that's yeah, one, one X. X. One X. One yeah. X. Yeah. You. So everybody gets, a, unlike the last time when no one got a point, everyone gets a point, unless I've written the same as somebody here, <gasps> which I have. Is it me? Which I have. Well, <laughs> I, it doesn't shock me I've written the same as this person. 51. Oh. I said, said, I just thought, oh, that's, that's, well, yeah. That's, oh. You know what I thought, I thought the same as you. You're just too um, clever for your yeah. own. Uh, yeah. I get the yeah. point that you won in the last round. Sorry, Sandy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's take a look at the other answers at home. I couldn't think of too many 11, others. Eleven, yes. Yeah, 11. two, four, eleven, twenty, forty, yeah, fifty-five. Oh, fifty-five. Uh, Actually, you know, if I had my time again, I would have gone for fifty-five. Yeah. So that's even cleverer. If I had my time again, I'd be a doctor. But you know. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what was fifty-five? Fifty-five would be LV. LV. Um, an XC there, ninety. Final question in this round. Write me down a correct answer in this category, please. Chancellors oh. of the Exchequer since 1970. Oh, I like this sort of thing. So square of me, isn't it? I did politics at university. Oh, did you? Yeah, lucky yeah. you. Yeah, lucky me, eh? Everyone happy? What do you think at home on this one? Chancellors of the Exchequer. Tiff, who have you gone for? William Hague. William Hague. I had another person in mind. I thought someone else might go for them. Not sure if I spelt it right, but I didn't write it on my pencil cases and notebooks when I was at school with <laughs> I heart next to I heart William so. Hague. <laughs> um, is William Hague a correct answer? He's not. Oh. He's Foreign Secretary uh, William Hague and leader of the Tories, but not uh, Chancellor of the Exchequer, Sanjeev. I'm sadly panicking that I know he's on the front bench, but Norman Lamont? Norman Lamont, surely. Is that correct? Oh, this is correct. Well played, Sanji. Unless I wrote it. Joe, what are you saying? Nigel Lawson. Nigel Lawson. Mm. Surely. Absolutely. Well done, Joe. Roger. Always got the look of a man who's written Nigel Lawson on his card. I was maybe. going to write Nigel Lawson. Okay. But unfortunately, I wrote Norman Lamont. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Good news Thanks. for you, Joe. Oh. Um, so the only person who gets a point is Joe. Unless... Not necessarily. I also oh. wrote Nigel Lawson. Alistair Darling. Oh, oh, Alistair Darling. Alistair Darling. So, Joe Brand gets herself a point at the end of that round. Have this away, please, everybody. Let's see the remaining answers, the remaining chancellors. You could have Gordon had Brown. Anthony Barber, Dennis Healy, Geoffrey Howe, George Osborne... George Osborne. Gordon Brown, Ian McLeod, John Major... Kenneth Clark, <laughs> Philip Hammond, Rishi Sunak, Roy Jenkins <laughs> and Sajid Javid. Very well done. If you said any of those and avoided our answers here. Uh, one final round to go. Let's take a look at our scores, shall we, as we go into Answer Smash? It's very close today. Uh, Joe, you have oh. five. Tiff, seven. Roger and Sanjeev, nine points oh. each. Oh. He's very good Be at kind. Answer Smash, though. He is He's very, very good, good at Answer Smash. Yeah. Well, I was yesterday. Everybody within four points of each other at the moment, uh, with one round to go, and that round, of course, is... <laughs> After Smash, is Sanjeev going to make it two in a row? He stormed through Answer Smash last time. Point for a correct answer, point off, don't forget, for an incorrect answer. Your first category today is... Puzzles. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues above. Which Italian dessert consists of layers of sponge soaked in coffee and liqueur? Yes, Sanjeev. Tiramisudoku. Tiramisudoku? Is right, tiramisu, sudoku, tiramisu, sudoku. Next clue, next puzzle. In 2002, Elton John collaborated with Blue on a chart-topping new version of which of his songs originally released in 1976? Yes, Roger. Sorry seems to be the hardest word search. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that's right. That is right, well done. <laughs> Sorry seems Brilliant. to be the hardest word search. Oh. Uh, very good. Next clue and next puzzle. Which character is voiced by Steve Carell in the Despicable Me film series? Yes, Sanjeev. Grubik's Cube. Oh, Grub oh absolutely. Very... Well done. Grubik's Cube 
is right through and a Rubik's Cube. Next category, beauty accessories. Those will be the pictures. Bluto and olive oil are characters in comic strips about which spinach-eating sailor? Tiff. Pop eyelash curler. Pop eyelash curler. Absolutely, pop eyelash curler. Well played, pop eye and eyelash curler. Next one. Which city in Wales hosted the FA Cup final from 2001 to 2006? Sanjeev. All oh, right, bit of a car diffuser? Car diffuser? Absolutely, yeah. Cardiff and diffuser. Car diffuser. <laughs> next question, next accessory. Which term denotes yarn or fabric made from the hair of the Angora goat? Yes, Joe. Angora goat hairbrush. <laughs> 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 Worth a try. Let's take a look, shall we? Is it Angora goat hairbrush? It is no. not. So I tell you? Yeah. Mohair brush. Of course. Oh. Mohair and Didn't hair brush. Didn't know that was from the Angora Next category. Grammy Lifetime Achievement winners. Those will be the pictures. <laughs> Which 1997 film stars Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones as secret agents tasked with monitoring extraterrestrials? Sanjeev. Men in Black Sabbath. Men in Black Sabbath. And there they are, the men in Black Sabbath. <laughs> Absolutely well played, Sanjeev. Next picture. Which character sings Memory in the musical Cats? Tiff. Grizabella Fitzgerald. Grizabella Fitzgerald? Nicely <laughs> done. Right answer, Tiff. Well played, Grizabella and Ella Fitzgerald. Next clue, next picture. Which song by Stornoway shares its name with the pastime of rolling around in a transparent plastic orb? Yes, Roger. Zorbing Crosby. <laughs> Zorbing Crosby? <laughs> <laughs> it's the right answer. Well done. Zorbing and Bing Crosby. Zorbing Crosby. Uh, next category. Oh, we shared them around there, didn't we? We shared them around. I can't believe they didn't give, give you an Angora hairbrush. I mean, that's <laughs> that Angora goat hairbrush. Extraordinary. On Monday, our champion was Sanjeev Kohli. On Tuesday, our champion is... Sanjeev oh, by two well points. Well done, Sanjeev. Well done. The prizes stay in Glasgow once again. Sanjeev, what would you like to uh, take with you today? Ooh, um, yeah, the dartboard. Dartboard? Dartboard. Congratulations, yeah. Sanjeev Kohli wins a House of Games dartboard. Let's take a look at our weekly leaderboard two days down. Joe and Tiff, you have three points each. Roger with six, Sanjeev with eight. Well played, Sanjeev. Mm. Two in a row. Can we stop him tomorrow? Look forward to seeing all of you back here, same time, same place. We'll see you as well, same time, same place, on the House of Games. It's reassuringly heavy, I hate to tell you. This will have to go on a structural wall. Oh, yeah, that's going on a load bearer. Yeah, that's going yeah. on a load bearer.